Hi everyone, my name is Esti, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you some basic Hungarian phrases. Whether you are visiting Budapest or Hungary as a tourist, whether you're an exchange student, whether you're just traveling across the country, it doesn't matter. These phrases are really useful and if you learn how to pronounce them, I'm pretty sure you can impress a lot of Hungarians. Before we get started with the actual phrases, let me help you in something. Now, if you've ever read a Hungarian text somewhere before, you might be asking, what are those crazy letters? Well, in the Hungarian alphabet, there are 44 letters, while in English, there's only 26. So, we have all these crazy vowels, like the letter O or the letter U and then we have double dots and commas above those letters and that might be really confusing but in the beginning honestly I wouldn't really worry about it but I want to make something clear that because I hear it as a common mistake especially when my friends when my friends are trying to pronounce something so that's the letter S now in English if you see the letter S then you pronounce S. Well, in Hungarian, if it's only the letter S, you've got to say ESH. Think about the word like, think about words in English that say SH, so like shower or show. So you want to say ESH. You only have to say S if the, e, if the letter S is followed by a Z, just like in my name, when you say Esti. So people, whenever they see my name Esti, they want to say Esti. They want to kind of exaggerate the letter Z in it. And I always have to explain that in Hungarian, the letter S and, and the Z is actually one letter and you have to pronounce it S. If it's only the letter S, then you got to say Esh. The other thing with the pronunciation is that you want to kind of make the letter R a little bit stronger than you would in English. You know, in English when you say the letter R in any words, it's, it's usually a soft, really soft sound. And in Hungarian, you've got to really pronounce it like R. You can, you can either pronounce, uh, practice it right now. R. Most of the Eastern European languages pronounce letter R definitely stronger than in English. But, you know, that's enough with the introduction. Everything's gonna make more sense once we get started with the actual phrases. And all I wanna say is that do not beat yourself up if you're having a hard time pronouncing these words because Hungarian is one of the most difficult languages in the world. But if you keep practicing these 10 phrases, I'm pretty sure you you know, just get the taste how Hungarian might sound and once you're in Hungary, you can, you can practice them and as I said, you can impress so many Hungarians. The first thing that we're gonna learn is how to say good morning. Good morning is a common greeting before 12 p.m. in Hungary. So if you wanna say good morning, you've gotta say Jó reggát. And it almost sounds like one word, Jó reggát. Now, Jó stands for good. Ragged means morning. So if you want to practice, yo ragged. As I said, do not worry about that comma on that letter O. It just means it's a little bit longer. Yo, not like yo. <laughs> no, you, you want to say yo ragged. And here comes the thing that I just mentioned before that the R is a little bit stronger. So let's practice. Yo ragged. Okay, so the next one is gonna be good afternoon. So, yo, again, good, yo, napot. And again, if you wanna sound like, you know, like a real Hungarian, you can say, yo napot. It's almost like one word, yo napot. Again, yo napot. Nap, nap means day. So now you can say, yo, Napot. Yo napot. Okay, now let's move to good evening. Good evening is used in Hungary, I would say, in the early evening hours. 
um, anything you know after like 6 7 p.m. you can say yo again stands for good yo estate este means evening in Hungarian so you want to say yo estate and again one word yo estate okay let's practice yo estate very good now let's move on to how to say have a good night so if you if you, if you want to if you want to say goodbye to someone and say have a good night you can say yo esokat now here comes the thing that i said you see the letter s followed by the z okay so that's why you have to pronounce it s you don't say yo esoka it's not a z you have to say s yo esokat and again it's like really smooth like one word yo esokat very good now Let's you know how to greet people you want to say goodbye right so if you want to say goodbye, then in Hungarian you have to say Viszontlátásra. Now, now that's the word that freaks everybody gets freaked out. Okay, I know it's I know it's long. I know it's hard. I'm gonna break it down. Okay, Viszontlátásra. Viszont, you see the letter, the combination S and the Z. That's why you say S. Viszont látásra. You see the letter S and not a Z? Now that's why that's why you have to say ESH. Viszont látásra. I know it's hard, so that's why I'm suggesting you to try just kind of break it down. Viszont látásra. And once you're okay with pronouncing separately, then you can try to say all in one word. Viszont látásra. Very good. One more time. Viszont látásra. All right, good news. There is a shorter version for goodbye. So you can say instead of viszont látásra, you can say viszlát. Easier? I think so. You can say viszlát. One more time. Viszlát. And that means goodbye. Let's move on how to say thank you in Hungarian. Thank you means köszönöm. Again, S followed by the letter Z, so you want to say S. Köszönöm. One more time. Köszönöm. Now there's a shorter version, just like in English. If you want to say thanks, then you can say köszi. Köszi is pretty simple, right? You can say köszi. Very good. What's next? Let me see. All right. Yeah, of course you want to say if you want to say how if you want to know how to say thank you, you want to know how to say you're welcome, right? So, you're welcome means szívesen. Now, here's the tricky part again. S followed by the Z, so you want to say S and then you see that letter S in the middle of the world. Now, that's how that's when you want to say ash because there's no Z after the S. Make sense? So you want to say Sivashen. Sivashen. One more time. Sivashen. Very good. Our last phrase today is asking, how are you? Now, that's again kind of a tricky phrase because there is this letter that it's really hard to pronounce for, for English speakers because there's not really a word in English that would use this kind of sound. So let me say it first. Hogy vagy in Hungarian, I mean, how are you in Hungarian means hogy vagy, right? So you might be wondering, what is that hogy vagy? I mean, I'm sorry, I don't, I'm, I don't mean to tease anybody, but that's how my English speaking friends would usually say hogy vagy, okay? So that again is a combination. You see that letter G and Y. So that want to say a sound like yeah okay so it's kind of like you form it in in, in in back here okay and then you say yeah let's practice like yeah okay so it says hogy vagy 
And if you want to make it sound, you know, as a question, you say, Hogy vagy? How are you? How is it going? What's up? That's how you say in Hungarian. Hogy vagy? Okay? One more last time. Hogy vagy? Hogy vagy? Very nice. Now, if you learn all these phrases, I'm pretty sure you get the chance to practice while you're staying in Hungary. And uh, Hungarians are going to be very impressed and they're going to help you a lot with the correct pronunciation. That's all for today's lesson. If you like it, don't, if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and then, you know, I might make more videos in the future when it comes to teaching some Hungarian phrases. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.